Hello, my stamping friends. This is Amy Rich with amyrich.net. Project number two in the 12 Projects of Christmas 2023 features the very cute stamp set and punch. And we're actually going to um, be using a lot of products in the Berry Christmas Suite collection. So here you can see up in the corner the bundle that can be sold together or separately. It also, the Bear Punch coordinates with the designer series paper that is our um, making a difference item for this catalog. So any purchase of this designer series paper, $3 of that goes to the Toys for Tots here in North America. So you can see the bear there on that designer series paper that coordinates nicely with that bear punch. We've also got the Snowflake Sky 3D embossing folder, which we'll be using today. The adhesive back glitter sequins. Um, the products in the middle here, I will be featuring another time. And then down here at the bottom is the adorable Berry Christmas Designer Series paper. So let's get started by taking a peek at that. I love this one. It's an overall uh, present background and you can definitely use it not just for Christmas, which is always nice when it's a little more versatile. And then the back is um, Mossy Meadow. Love it. The next one has the same type of design as the Mossy Meadow, has the same feel to it, but it's got some red and some navy. The next one is a cool one because it has the scene on the bottom and then the night sky on the top. So actually for our uh, fun fold card today, I am going to use this scenery at the top. And um, when I made a bunch of swaps um, from this card, I had to really stretch this section here because I only had so much of it to work with. But I love that that is up there and versatile so you can use it all together or separately. And then the back is just a snowflake background. And I don't think we looked at the back of this one. Um, definitely these animals could be fussy cut and used on different projects or just cut and use as an overall background. And then we've got this one. I, I have pieces of some of the other ones here, but um, we have this one here with the trees in the background. We have um, snowflakes here. And then in the back, we have a bunch of paw prints um, and then presents scattered throughout. And I think that's all of them or close. Um, and then we've got this one here, which um, this bear right here in a lot of different versions can be found on this designer series paper that can be cut with our punch. And the other ones can be fussy cut, of course, as well. And then on the back side, another fun, um, I guess I call it a sweater print. I don't know if that's what it is or not. Okay, here are all the pieces that we are going to be using for our card. And this piece is cut eight and a quarter by five and a half. So it's just cut a, a quarter inch off the side. And then we're gonna bring our trimmer in. And we have scored, or I have scored this at four and a quarter, five and a quarter, six and a quarter, and seven and a quarter. And now we're gonna put those um, lines up close to the top of our trimmer. And we're gonna put our um, cardstock in at three quarters of an inch. And then we're going to cut from, not the middle score line, but the second score line from the middle and all the way out so that we've got this little flap here. And then we're gonna put our paper in at one and a half and we're going to cut just up to the first line. So we've got um, a couple uh, slits in our cardstock like that. Then I'm gonna bring my snips in and I'm gonna start cutting from that center line to the first cut. So we'll cut that section at an angle here. And then we're going to have a straight side and then we'll go to the next line and cut at a diagonal down to the second cut. 
so that it looks like this. Now when I fold this, I am going to fold it accordion style. So I'm gonna take my bone folder here. So fold it in half, well, sort of. Um, remember we cut that quarter inch off and then back and forth and back again. So here we've got kind of a fun looking card. <laughs> and we're gonna start from the center and work our way out. So I'm going to take a piece of white that is four by five and a quarter, and I'm actually going to first emboss just the top section here. I want to leave space for, for me to write on it, but I'm going to take my um, Snowflake Sky 3D embossing folder, and I am just going to put it in part way. So bringing in my plates here, my plate number one and my plate number four, I'm going to run that through my stamp and cut and emboss machine. And by the magic of television, we've got that embossed ready to go for you. And then at the bottom here, I'm going to take a one inch by four inch piece of basic white and I'm just going to tear it. And I'm going to tear it with some hills. And then I am going to um, layer these two pieces together to make a couple of snow hills. So just with some liquid glue, and maybe it'll be better. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to layer the shorter one in the front. All right, so at the bottom of the little bit taller hills, I'm going to add some liquid glue. And then I'll just put my other piece right over the top, making sure the jagged edges that I tore are both facing out. Then I'm going to um, take my Knight of Navy ink and our little baby bear. So cute. And I'm going to kind of see where uh, those hills fall. And that's about where I'm going to stamp him over here on the left. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so adorable. And then I'm going to add my, my snow here at the bottom. All right, so I'm going to add some liquid glue. And my snow hills go down here. And then just to add a little visual interest, I'm going to use my fingernail to curl those, some of those edges here. And that really sets them off from the background. Then we'll add that into our card using a little stamp and seal. And now we'll go to the next layer. So the next layer we're going to add to this piece right here. And this one is pretty simple. I've taken a piece of the designer series paper that measures three and a quarter by four and a half. And we're gonna add that to three and a half by four and three quarters, balmy blue. So we're working with balmy blue and night of navy mostly today. And then this is where it's gonna go. So I'm gonna add my adhesive down that section and add that right in there. If it's easier for you, you can use some liquid glue so that you can move it around before adhering it down a little bit easier. But you can see now that this section is shorter and smaller than the one on the back. Then we're going to take our sentiment, which is Christmas is better together. And I'm gonna stamp it right on this uh, piece of basic white that is cut from our nested essentials dies and it is I believe the second largest of the die that is this shape and I did that in advance so that we could keep working here I'm going to leave this night of navy open please yell through your screen if you feel like I'm going to put something on it because <laughs> I'm afraid I'm very afraid 
All right, so we'll add this to our section with dimensionals, but we're gonna go way into the corner because I don't want it showing when the card is closed. Okay, so we're gonna cover that section up, so that's why we want it way over to the side. Super cute though, right? <laughs> I'm loving it so far. And then remember, I told you I cut a piece from the top of that um, designer series paper, remember this? This was from up top here. And that is two and a half by three and three quarters layered on two and three quarters by four. So I'm just gonna layer one on top of the other here. And then we're gonna take another piece of basic white and I'm gonna start at the top and I'm just going to create a, a hill there that we're gonna add to the bottom of our card or to the bottom of the front here. But before I do that, I'm going to add another sentiment. Notice that there are several really nice ones in here. I'm using the Merry Christmas now, which fits perfectly across my two and a half inch strip. So again, with Knight of Navy, look at that, perfect. Right down there at the bottom. And I'm gonna need that one more time. So <laughs> let's be vigilant here. Then we're gonna add that down here at the bottom. I am gonna leave the top of the hill free because I might wanna uh, tuck part of my bear in there. So I'm gonna leave that free just in case I need it. Okay, so we're gonna add the Merry Christmas and now the bear. So on a piece, on a scrap piece of white, I'm gonna ink up my bear. Now remember our ink pads are super juicy, so you don't, you know, it's it's just a tapping motion. You don't have to push very hard. And then I'm gonna stamp that at the bottom. And now I'm gonna close my ink pads so that we don't make a mess. And then bringing in our punch, I'm gonna line that up. I'm of course gonna keep him white because I want him a polar bear. I have made him into a brown bear and a black bear before, but we're gonna leave him white this time. And then we're going to add him to our snow hill. So something like that. So you see how I tucked his back leg under for that? Um, that's just the aesthetics look. And I want, that's why I wanted that um, section to be a little bit more um, loose, so I didn't add my adhesive there. Okay, now I'm gonna add this to the front, and so I'm gonna bring this in, close it all the way, close the accordion all the way down, and now I'm going to add adhesive to the side. And then we'll tuck this, and again, liquid glue might have been a good, good idea here, <laughs> so I can move it around. But, so here, look what I got. So Christmas is better together, and then you've got the little baby bear trailing behind. I didn't want to put the baby bear out here because I didn't want a sneak peek of him when it was closed, and I didn't want him in the middle because aesthetically I didn't like that. <laughs> so I kind of tucked him in there to show that he's he's there following behind, but I thought that was super cute. Now we just got to um, dress it up just a little bit more. And I thought the adhesive backed glitter sequins that come in this suite would be a great option. So I'm gonna take a couple of the clear ones and add those. And then you could even add one of the blue ones as well, or a couple, you know, you could scatter them throughout and add a couple more. But isn't that fun? A great fun fold card that actually isn't um, too difficult, it just has several steps to it, but lots of good fun. You can check out my blog post on this card and it is listed, that link is in the description of the video. And thank you for joining me for project number two in the 12 projects of Christmas 2023. And I will see you again soon with the third. Can't wait. Mm -hmm.